All right, now in my previous video with regard to the One UI 6.1, which got released for the Galaxy S23 series, I discussed about the AI features and some other important features. Now in this video, I'm going to discuss about all the non-AI features, including some of the minor features which we got on the S23 series on One UI 6.1. Before we go ahead, if you're interested in this home screen wallpaper, you can download it from the link which I have uh, added in the description. Every video that I post will have a brand new wallpaper, so you can check out the description for the links and download the wallpaper now let's go ahead when we open the quick panel here you see we have got the power button when i tap on this we get an additional option here the lockdown mode now this is uh, available on the one ui 6.0 as well but uh, this is not turned on by default but on one ui 6.1 this option is showing up by default when we tap on the power button now what this lockdown mode does is when you tap on that it will lock the phone it will not show you the uh, fingerprint unlock option and it will also not display any notifications that you get on the lock screen that is the lockdown mode which is available on 6.0 as well but uh, with one ui 6.0 one it is available right on the uh, quick panel when you tap on the power button it will be available right there and we also have this medical info available by default when you tap on this you'll be able to add the medical info the emergency contacts and everything and that will appear even when the phone is locked next when we press and hold on the home screen and tap on wallpaper and style and go to change wallpapers and select a particular wallpaper here and tap on done you will see this option choose where to apply you can select lock screen or home screen when you tap on next you will get this preview for the lock screen as well as home screen you'll be able to see a new icon here on one ui 6.1 uh, when you tap on this icon you can switch between the lock screen and home screen to get a preview of uh, the wallpaper how it looks on the lock screen and home screen by just tapping on uh, this particular button here that's a new feature we have next we have got frames and effect options as well i can tap on frame to add any particular frame for the lock screen wallpaper you see we have got different frames available here you can select the one that you want and uh, you can also select the color here this will change the background color as you can see and just tap on done to set this as home screen or lock screen wallpaper you can see this is set on the home screen and even on the lock screen i have set the same wallpaper this is how it looks you can also change the effect here let me tap on fx this is the original effect i will scroll towards the right this is the gray scale we have got colors i can tap on this color icon here to select any color that i want which will change the tint of this wallpaper that's another new feature that we have got on one ui 6.1 on the s23 series now let's stay on the lock screen customization here we have got brand new widgets for the lock screen i can tap on this plus button for widgets you see we have got limited number of widgets here we got widgets for battery calendar clock reminder samsung health and weather for weather we have got multiple different options current temperature precipitation sunrise and sunset moon phase aqi uv uh, current temperature and weather you can select anything that you want uh, you can basically select uh, four smaller uh, widgets or one large and two uh, small widgets you can play with these combinations here let me just select uh, some of them here let me select the calendar widget or let's say uh, alarm widget and i'll select one more widget here maybe uh, the battery status i'll tap on ok tap on done now these are the three widgets which i have set on the lock screen let me show you the lock screen now this is how the widgets look uh, let me change the colors from these widgets you can just tap on the clock to customize the colors uh, which will change the colors on these widgets as well i think white looks better on this background let me tap on done this is how the lock screen look when you customize it with all these new widgets the next feature is clipping an object from an image and pasting it on another image let me open the gallery here let me just open a particular uh, image here now i can just press and hold on this particular object to clip it and uh, i can use another finger to go back or let's say uh, scroll through the images here and uh, find an image where i want to paste this particular uh, clipped image okay now i'll paste this here you see I will be able to copy and paste uh, a clipped image on another image which looks fantastic now i can just tap on save you see this is how the image is looking this feature doesn't always clip the object from an image precisely it will have some issues like this but uh, most of the cases it works fine as long as the background is clean now this is how we copy and paste an object a clipped object from an image to another image on one ui 6.1 likewise we'll also be able to save a clipped image or clipped object as sticker let me open this uh, image here you see i will just clip this image on the top we have got this option save as sticker i can just tap on this this clipped image will be saved as sticker and while saving it you also get these customization options you can have an outline for this image cut out vintage cartoon let me just turn the phone into dark mode and show you this you see this is how it looks we have got outline 
cut out vintage and cartoon options uh, i'll keep it as original and tap on done now this has been saved as stickers here you can see i have got a few stickers which are created in the same method uh, i have just saved this sticker here and we'll be able to save the we'll be able to send these stickers on samsung messages but on third party messages these uh, stickers will not work uh, they will be sent as images that is something which probably samsung has to uh, work with the third party applications to make these uh, stickers available uh, to be sent on uh, that plot platform as well now another new thing on one six dot one is whenever we clip an image we will be able to edit before we save it let me clip an image here let me clip this particular image now before saving this sticker i can just start tap on this three dot button to tap on edit and now i will be able to precisely select the image uh, or uh, crop the image that i want and then tap on next and uh, tap on save and while saving it will ask me to save as image or save as sticker i can save it as sticker if i want or as an image depending on uh, the requirement that's another improvement we have got the next feature is changing the playback speed of a video now uh, i wouldn't call this a non-ai feature because it seems that ai plays a role here uh, let me open the gallery and show you this let's go to uh, the videos here let me open this video now the video is playing i can just press and hold on this video to play this in slow motion now this is not it I can also tap on edit and apply the instant slow-mo for this video. I can change the speed here. I can select the option that I want and I can tap on save. And before saving, I can also select the portion of the video to which I want to apply this instant slow-mo. I can select the entire stretch of the video or I can select a particular portion of the video. Now, when I select a portion and play the video, you see it is playing normally and the moment it reaches this stage, it will start playing in slow motion. That is just fantastic. You can just tap on save to save this video, save as copy or save the same uh, video file with the slow motion effect. That's a new feature we have. The next improvement on the One UI 6.1 on the Galaxy S23 series is editing videos on multiple devices. Now we'll be able to continue the edits on the phone or on the tablet or on Samsung PCs. We'll be able to export uh, the studio projects to a file that can be opened on another Galaxy device. Let me open gallery here and tap on this three dot button. This is where we get this uh, studio option. Uh, when I open studio, I will be able to create a movie here. I can start a new project, select a few video files and images and tap on done. Now, once you're done editing here on the phone, you can tap on this three dot button and tap on share project to share this particular product project on another device to continue editing. I can tap on quick share to share this project on the uh, other phone or on Samsung PC or on the Samsung tablet to continue editing on another device. The next new feature is on clock application. Now, whenever you create a new alarm, you will be able to select the alarm background here. Now, this feature arrived even before the One UI 6.1, but this is basically a One UI 6.1 feature, but this was provided through an update on the clock application. Now, you'll be able to tap on alarm background to uh, set a particular alarm background for any specific alarms. You can change the background, you can set the video files, or you can set any image from the gallery. As and when the alarm rings, uh, this file that you've selected will show up on the screen and we'll also be changing the layout of the alarm here as you can see the clock can be the clock layout can be changed here depending on your requirement the same background customization is also available for the reminder alert you can customize the background for the reminder alerts as well on the reminder application now let's move to the next feature let's go to calendar here there's a minor improvements or minor change we will be able to add two stickers or two emojis instead of one we had earlier. Now you see, I've selected this particular date, 31st of March. I got this uh, uh, emoji icon here, I can tap on this. Now here I can select two emojis or two stickers for this particular date. I can just tap on the smiley here and you see we have got the second option here, I can tap on this. You see we have got two different emojis and smileys here which are available for a particular day. Next, we have got a brand new widget for turning on or off the uh, modes on the home screen. Let me press and hold on the home screen and go to widget now here let me scroll down to uh, open modes and routines you see we have got additional widgets here i can press and hold on this widget and uh, drag it to the home screen uh, this is the uh, sleep mode i can tap on this to turn on or turn off the sleep mode which can be done from the home screen itself which is fantastic the next improvement is in modes and routines section we will be able to reorder the modes and routines now let me open modes and routines now you see we can just press and hold on any of these modes or routines to reorder them we get this icon here we can just press and hold on this to uh, reorder them uh, depending on your preferences we can also do that uh, here on the 
uh, routine section. If you have multiple routines set here, you can just press and hold on a particular routine and drag it to move it around and reorder them. We can do it in both uh, modes and routine section. We also have a brand new routines in uh, modes and routines. Let me open modes and routines again. Let me create a routine here. I'll tap on plus button. Now, when I scroll down for if condition, there is a brand new option here under clock. You see, we have this option selected alarm ringing. We can select a particular alarm as an if condition to execute any actions on the phone. And the second new option is uh, the smart view. You can see we have got if condition a smart view. Whenever the smart view gets connected or disconnected, we can execute a particular action using this modes and routines feature. Next, we also have a brand new application called Samsung Find, which was not available for the Galaxy S23 series on One UI 6.0. It was only available for the S24 series. Now, when you go to the uh, Galaxy store and search for Samsung Find, you will be able to find this application. You see, we got Samsung Find right here. Using this application, we'll be able to find the locations of family members. You can share the locations with family members, and you can also find your device's location through this application. So make sure you download Samsung Find application and log into it uh, with the same uh, Samsung ID that you have on other devices as well. And you can also add your family members' contacts uh, into this application so that you can share your location with your family members or they will be able to share their location with you. Next, we have got a brand new weather widget. Let me press and hold on the home screen and tap on widgets and go to weather. You can see we've got five different widgets here. We've got something called weather insights, which will give us a glimpse of what's happening in weather in your location. Let me press and hold on this and uh, bring it on the home screen. As you can see, we've got the uh, temperature and the location. And you can also see today what's happening with the weather. It is showing me uh, extreme UV, which is about 11. Likewise, it will show you severe thunderstorms, snowfall, or other precipitation information right here on this brand new widget. Next, let's say we have got multiple applications open in pop-up view. This is the kind of icon that we get to open them. But when I tap on that, you see we've got a brand new option here. This will enable us to open all these applications at one shot. I can just tap on this to open all the apps which are open in the background in pop-up view. Earlier, this wasn't available. Earlier, uh, we only had options to open individual apps. But now, we have got this brand new icon by tapping on which we'll be able to open all those applications which are open in the background in pop-up view at one shot. That's a new addition here. Next, when we go to the app tray, we have got this finder on the top, which is basically the search on Samsung Galaxy phones. When we tap on the search and search for something, we get all the search results here. And we also get an icon or an option to open the Google search. But now, Samsung has integrated Google search results into the finder whenever you search something here let me just search us dollar to inr now here you see we've got google search results right here instead of just the google uh, search option on which we had to tap to search in google in the previous version of one UI. now we've got all the search results right here in finder itself we can just tap on uh, uh, one of the search results and directly open it on google next let's go to the settings tap on device care here and let's tap on battery. Now here, when you tap on battery protection, we have got this brand new menu on One UI 6.1. When I enable this, we've got three different options to protect your battery. We have got basic, adaptive, and maximum. We have already seen this on uh, the S24 series. Uh, and now this is available on the S23 series as well. You can select the option that you want to protect your battery lifespan. Next, a lot of you guys are wondering about the video call effects when you make a video call. I saw a few comments mentioning that the video call effects have have disappeared but no this is not disappeared this has been integrated into the quick panel itself let me show you that let me open whatsapp and make a video call here you see when i'm on a video call i can just swipe from the top to open the quick panel you see we've got video call effects right here you can just tap on that to uh, select any video call effect that you want so this has been integrated now into the quick panel itself the next feature is voice focus which is new on one device 6.1 when you make a call and swipe down to open the quick panel, you will see this mic mode on the top. You can just tap on that to open two different modes. One is standard mode, which is available by default, and a voice focus mode. Whenever you are in a crowded place where you have a lot of background noise and you are making a call to someone, you can turn on voice focus mode, which will remove the background noise, helping the other person to hear your audio clearly. That's a brand new feature we have got on One UI 6.1 for the S23 series. Now, these are some fantastic features which we have got on one UI 6.1 for the Galaxy S23 series. And there are a few features which are missing, which I'll probably discuss in the next video. Stay tuned for that and uh, give this video a like if you find this video informational and be sure to subscribe if you want to know your phone better. That's all I want to share with you guys in this video. Thanks for watching. If you missed my previous video on the 
AI features on S23 series, go ahead and check that out. I will link it in the description. I have discussed all the AI features that we have got on the S23 Ultra and that will be applicable for the S23 regular and S23 Plus as well. Anyways, that's all I have here. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.